since circuit breaker measures kicked in on April 7, hawkers have been relying on takeaways and deliveries to stay afloat. Some have even turned to digital platforms such as WhatsApp and Facebook to reach out to customers. In this video, I'm going to investigate what hawkers are doing to survive COVID-19. With the ban on eating out, business has been slow. But one hawker has decided to help. Mr. Melvin Chu, who sells duck rice at Chinatown Food Complex, started a Facebook group that allows storeholders to share their offerings and for diners to pre-order food. The majority of the hawkers have their business drop from 70 to as much as 90%. Yeah, I started a hawker writer group to so gather all the FMB and hawkers. I can also bring in some customer from my own Facebook friend list. So we can actually go into a platform and put for business. The group, known as Hawkers United Dabao 2020, has more than 260,000 members. For the first week when the circuit break breaker just started, right? Then the business is like super bad. She every day just keep ranting to me. Then I have no choice but to like you know like find solution to actually make it work. So my cousin actually sent me this link. And I'm like, eh, hey, uh, yeah, like no harm lah. Why not? I just make a post and I just see how it goes. And she she didn't really expect it to be such a big hit. Suddenly, like we have increased in sales. She's like, eh, hey, it's actually working ah. While food delivery providers such as Grab, Deliveroo and Food Panda offer convenience, hawkers say selling direct to customers is a better option. The commission is, is very high for especially hawkers because hawkers are selling food at a quite a low cost. Uh. Platform taking away 30 to 30 plus percent and they are not allowed to back up. They are actually earning nothing. That in fact, they are, they are, they are making losses. We actually join them or participate very, very begrudgingly because we are left with no other alternatives, you see. The negativity of COVID actually brought out so much positivity on social media now, you see. There are so many people who have stepped forward to actually help the hawkers because they understand what we are going through. Initially, it was grab food accounted for about 50%, Panda about 20%. Currently, after joining Hawkers SG, I think Hawkers SG is now amounting to about 50% of our business. When asked about the high commissions, GradFood said that of the 30%, 25% goes to delivery riders. The remaining 5% is used to maintain the platform. Deliveroo charges an average 30% commission, of which 29% is paid to delivery riders. The rest is used to sustain business operations. Food Panda said its rates range from 30 to 35%. The majority is given to delivery riders, while the remainder is used to cover costs such as telco data charges. All three platforms have introduced initiatives to support hawkers. Grab launched a three-month pilot program offering reduced commissions at Ang Mo Kio 724 Food Centre. Deliveroo has been paying hawkers on a weekly basis to help them maintain a stable income during the circuit breaker. Food Panda is working with Enterprise Singapore to waive joining fees and will take no commission for new sign-ups. However, navigating the online world can be daunting for hawkers who are less tech-savvy. According to the National Environmental Agency, the median age of hawkers in Singapore is 60 years old. Many are getting help from family and friends to survive the circuit breaker. No choice, we definitely have to move this because else the business is like $20 a day. I even tell her, don't open, even, even better. Because $20 a day, how to survive? And then I train her to see how to operate Facebook. But she's very willing to learn. I have to teach her how to use pay now and pay la. I have to teach her how to um, read the message and I have to teach her how to reply, how to like actually communicate with the person, right? Telling them like what time to pick up. After these few weeks, I think she's getting better. I will not, I will not say it's perfect, but at least uh, I can leave her alone when things are not busy. So a very good friend of mine called me up, I think, and muttered the idea, then came down and briefly explained what it was all about. I said, uh, I don't know how to do it. 
So he said, no worries, he will help me with the whole thing. So he's the one who actually put us there. And then he created some sort of a IT infrastructure lah, where through using WhatsApp and Google Sheets and amalgamated the whole thing into what it is now. Lah. Members of the community also stepped forward to help. Mr. Yu Min Kim, a software engineer at Facebook, came up with a personal project to make ordering on WhatsApp more efficient for hawkers. found that shop owners are actually struggling a lot to manage the high demands of the orders. Some shops are like receiving a lot of the messages they are receiving, but they don't have much time to handle. So I was thinking maybe I can create a so order form um, which is very easy to start. It shouldn't be in Google because his uncles and aunties are so used to use WhatsApp. Changing communication channel is a very difficult option for them. So my goal is to make us some Google Form-like order form, but staying in WhatsApp. Known as Take.SG, the free WhatsApp order form has been adopted by more than 230 hawkers. Like I didn't expect the immediate response, but they understand immediately what this is for. And then they immediately start changing their behavior. Previously, they only uploaded their WhatsApp phone number in group post, but they start replacing this WhatsApp phone number to this uh, order form link. It was really kind of a moment for me, like surprised that these things are really helping these small shop owners immediately. With feedback from hawkers, Mr. Kim also added new features such as a distance calculator so stall owners can easily quote their delivery price to customers. The circuit breaker has proved to be challenging for hawkers, but many have reinvented their business and kept going. As more people embrace technology, we might soon see a new generation of digital hawkers.